Hey, hello and welcome to a new reaction video. I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. Are you new to this channel? Well, my name is Herr Buda and I'm reacting on hair fails and I give you hair tips so you don't make the same mistake as they are. Today we are going to see a video of Ashley Elizabeth and she was dyeing her hair red at home and it says this was definitely a bleach fail but she was going to red so why was she bleaching it maybe it was too dark if it's too dark then yes you will have to strip a little bit the cosmetic color out of your hair before you put some red on top of it but there are also from L'Oreal and many they're also from Vitality that's an Italian brand there are colors that are bleaching and putting some red color over your hair and it will be very vibrant. I will put a link under my video for the products that you can use. You can put on dark hair for streaks or for ombre or completely, but be careful with the scalp because then it will be too red or too copper. That is not nice. I like more dark roots than uh, light roots or vibrant roots. I will put a link underneath here so uh, you know what uh, product I'm talking about. Enough said. Let's see what she was doing wrong, dyeing her hair red at home uh, with bleach. Okay, but before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, you can also follow me on TikTok. Let's see what Ashley Elizabeth is doing with her hair. It's red, but it's going to be nice red or not. I don't know. I haven't seen the video yet. I just click on a video and I will discuss because I want to be surprised. The first uh, hair tip that comes up in my head, I want to share them with you. Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are like how many weeks into lockdown and yeah, this is happening now. I'm going to bleach my hair today. I'm gonna bleach my hair today. I always said to myself, I would never bleach my hair at home. I was like, I, I'm never gonna bleach my hair at home. But here we are. It's fine, if it goes wrong, I can just put a brown dye back on it. It's fine. It's fine. So today I am bleaching my hair. I'm trying to go ginger. Spoiler, I changed my mind. Didn't go orange, went red instead. You'll see the process, I, I suppose. I don't, I don't know. I was just like, a red might look nice on my hair because I used to be ginger, um, like naturally. Ginger? is not red so she says i want to go to ginger but then she says i like red ginger is orange ginger is copper red is red i tried to strip my hair the other night and put a uh, like a ginger on top of it didn't work so i was like should i just bleach it <laughs> and so i messaged my hairdresser and I asked her a few questions and she was like, it should be fine, like do this, do that. And she gave me like a bunch of tips. So I'm gonna bleach my hair tonight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna let it sit tonight. I bought this reconstructing mask for dry and colored hair. So I'm gonna put this on tonight after I've done the bleach, just, just to give it a bit of like, give it a bit of moisture. So it's not completely like hair, like bleach, then dye. I'll show you the stuff I bought for this adventure. I, I am fully aware that my hair is not gonna go like, white blonde like i know that because i have dark hair don't go to white or yellow if you want to go to orange don't bleach too far so i've got this this was the best bleach i could find i bleached my friend's hair using this before so i know how it works and then i got the two cream peroxide thingies that go with it i watched a brad mondo video and he said to use 30 volume, but they didn't have any 30 volume. They only had 40. If I end up in a Brad Mondo video, hey, I tried to get 30. I listened and I tried, but they didn't have any. So I got 40. I got 40. Is this a bad idea? It's probably a really bad idea. Oh, I really don't want my head to get damaged like they do in all those videos. I got a bowl and some brushes. Um, having multiple brushes means that my boyfriend can help me and I'm not just gonna do this on my own. It was a bit of an ordeal getting these bleaches. First of all, we went to Sainsbury's and they had everything except for the peroxide. And I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So we went into town, which meant we could go on a lovely walk by the canal, which was very nice. <laughs> we ended up in Boots and they had like, 
loads of stuff. Um, so. Am I doing it right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what you advise? Shall I get one of these? For a really blonde finish. Can I go that orange? Tangerine. No. No. This is the colour that I've got, the box dye that I've got to go over the top of the blonde, if it works. So any, honestly, any of these colours work for me. Like, I'm okay with any of these colours, so. I'm gonna put some trashy clothes on, get my boyfriend's bleaching towel, and we're gonna, we're gonna bleach my hair. God, I hope this doesn't go wrong. Well, if you don't want to go wrong, then don't bleach your roots. Just do the length. Your roots are natural and are not that dark than the length. So don't bleach your roots. Don't go to white. If you want to go to orange, then you just have to bleach it to orange. And 40 volumes is way too much to go to orange. 20 will do it. Even 30 is too much, but if you just want to go to orange, then 20 is most likely enough. You're damaging your hair unnecessarily. Bleach your hair until the right level that you want to achieve. If you want to go to red, look at it. If you see red, rinse it off. If you want to go to orange, look at it. Orange, rinse it off. But if you want to go to pink, then you have to go to white. Think about what you're going to achieve, but don't color your roots. Your roots are natural. I can feel it that she's going to bleach the roots. I feel it. I'm just gonna, just gonna pop my hair section in. I'm just gonna keep my hair like this. My... Okay, that's it. There are sections, but take fine sections. You know me. Take fine sections. How, 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 what, how am I mixing? How am I mixing? One, 75 mil bottle, which is this, to 125 grams. Okay, okay. Paint it, but it's gonna be thick. Just the length. It's gonna be quite thick on that. Take more fine sections. It's too big of section in the back. Root. And then we'll, yeah, and then we'll do the roots after. Oh, I never thought I'd be doing this to my hair. What are you doing before? I've never bleached it, but I haven't. No, I just get one bit. I went to the hairdresser. Uh, <laughs> I can't really trust him to use. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> oh, I touched it. Oh, I've got it on my hands already. Can I have a clean gun glove? I'm stressed, okay? Very stressed. You're stressed in turn. This is my hair. There's so much bleach in the middle and nearly no no bleach on the tips. Apply more on the tips and take finer sections. Okay. I don't know if you're putting it on thick enough. I'll read through it, yeah. I'm really saying I'm not going to have enough to go back oh. to the See, look, that looks good, and then you No, it it's up. not. There's <laughs> like nothing underneath. Take more fine sections. It was a very big chunk. I know that does not look thick enough. It's fine. You think this stain would? Not enough product. It's fine. You're going to need to help me with the roots of it. But it's very good that the roots are not bleached. Um, to keep all the heat in, I'm going to leave this for about 25 minutes and then I'm going to come back and do my roots. Don't do your roots, your roots are good. Look at that, that big clump there that's just not. Yeah, but some of that with tiny bit more. Oh, that's so hot, I'm gonna feel it. Oh my god. The bits underneath are really long. That's insane. <laughs> so look, now we can see the bits that we've missed. So we can go over them. I'm gonna part it. Stop. Stop doing that. Yeah. Hmm. So we've been out over like 10 minutes and we're out. So all like all my roots under here are not done. There are some bits that we completely missed. You missed. 
weave miss. I'm gonna wash it out. I'm not gonna tone it tonight because what's the point if there's not that much? So we're gonna leave it there and then I'll get some more tomorrow. Oh my god. But I'm gonna wash it out now. <laughs> this is beyond bad. Okay, so this is where we're at after tonight's bleach. Yeah, there's definitely patches that we missed. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get more to top up the bits that didn't even get done. Possibly the ends because they didn't really get done. And then we'll add the color. I'm kind of changing. I don't know whether I wanna go ginger anymore because now I've seen what this is like. I might go red. We'll see, we'll see. Then it's too far. Let's, let's fix this. This is dark. This is more orange. This is yellow blonde. You have to want to go darker and lighter at the ends. What is going to happen if you put some ginger orange on top of it or red, then this will be more vibrant and here it will be less red. You have to turn it around. Shadow roots are so, so, so beautiful. Please put it in the comments. Do you like darker roots, shadow roots, or do you like it that it's vibrant on top of it? She's going to do red, then it's too far. Your bleach is too far. You have passed red and orange, and it's some parts, it's already to the yellow part. So it's really too far. You have to repigmentate again, pre-pigmentate again. You have taken all the red pigments out of your hair and you have to put them back. Otherwise it will be so vibrant. It can be nice yet, but it will wash off so fast uh, that it's like in one week, all the red is gone because you bleached too far. And red is already a color that's fading very quickly. If I can get it all to be like this, I'd be happy. Go back with the first thing I said, they were taking a, a, a big chunk here, they bleached it and none of the bleach was on the, on the lengths, on the tips. This is the result of what, how they applied it. So do a good job, take your time, apply it good, saturation, fine sections, over and over again, I'm telling you, and you will dream about it, you will have nightmares of saturations and fine sections until you know it. Um, blonde dye, or like a, I've got a toner, but like a blonde kind of dye to put over the top. Because if I can get it all this color and then I can get it like a nice blonde, I might leave it like that for a bit instead of adding a color to it. But I'm also gonna get a red hair dye because I don't think I wanna go orange anymore because I've seen how orange kind of looks and I'm like, mm, mm. So I think I wanna go red, so we'll see how it goes. So I went out and I bought myself two little bottles of peroxide for the bleach, a white hair toner because I thought I was gonna stay blonde, but I didn't, some purple shampoo for the blonde hair, which I didn't keep, and a red hair dye. If I get it all that colour, then I can tone it nicely. So that's the plan. I kind of feel like I'm getting something that's like I'm gonna come back in 25 minutes to do my roots and like these bits and stuff. This just, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It feels a bit coarse. I'll do my roots, wash it out, and then like, that's it. No more bleach for me. I'll see you when I put my roots. I'm gonna film my roots. I can't bother, it. it's gonna take a while, so. I have a mental health condition, we think. Me and my therapist, not my doctor, think. Um, I have a mental health condition, which means I make really impulsive and sporadic decisions um, based on my emotions, which I can't regulate. <laughs> so sometimes I look at what I've done in these moments and I think, who let me? And this is one of those moments, because what the fuck is this? But this is the best we're gonna get. So um, I'm gonna wash it out, then I'm gonna dump it. I'm not gonna tell it, because what's the point? Let's just, let's do it. So, this is where we've ended up. Not awful. I mean, not great. Like, really not great. I mean, pretty bad, but not like... I didn't tone it, and I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put this straight on. Um, and I have, just now, 
literally just now while I was drying my hair, read the side and it says this is not recommended for light blonde. So the final stage is dyeing my hair red. I don't think I'll show you the rest of this. I think we'll just do one big fat reveal now. Yeah, let's do a big fat reveal. And voila, I am red for sachets of bleach. Definitely damaged hair. While you are watching this video, take your hand and go over the top of her hair that you don't see the very vibrant regrowth. Just do this. If you are looking at this, this is a very nice color. Beautiful color because the lengths were orange. She put red on top of it, so it's very vibrant and it will wash off less easy because there was orange pigments underneath. It will be better if there were red ones, but okay. Uh, but here it's so vibrant. I don't like that. I don't. It has to be darker. My tip is now take a darker red, do your roots, just your roots, and make some shadow roots and then it's beautiful. I'm red. I didn't think this was this video was gonna end in success. It's definitely not perfect in terms of like condition. Like it's definitely a bit damaged, but nothing a few hair masks and a few moisture treatments won't fix. The dye does come off in your hands, but hopefully that will stop after a couple um, washes. I love it. I think it looks brilliant. Um, I'm about to send it to my nan who hates it when I dye my hair, so. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up for all of the damaged molecules in my hair. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Maybe I would have died it back. Who knows? Maybe I'll get bored of it. I don't think so. Bye. Oh, she had a shirt on with David Bowie. I'm a big fan of David Bowie. His music was so different and it was such a remarkable time that he created all this music. It was really milestones in, in music business. But hey, okay. That I saw the picture of David Bowie. I was like, <gasps> David Bowie. That aside, did you do that? Then you see what, what I was talking about. This is a very nice color. This is not because it was too white. And I can understand it. She tried to do, she had bought silver shampoo and, and toner. She wanted to go very white, but why then again, bleaching your roots first. Just take care of the length. First bleach the length. And if you see that the length is not going as white as it should be. Why coloring your roots? Because you're damaging your scalp, you're hurting yourself. Don't bleach your roots until you are very satisfied with the color of the length. This is the most difficult part of your hair, is the lengths and tips. First, bleach them. See if you can go to a color that you want. If you are achieving the right color, then do the, the, the regrowth. First, the lengths. Don't think about the roots. Don't think about it. Rinse it off. If your hair is capable of doing a second round, bleach it again. Right out the roots. And then afterwards you can decide, okay, I will bleach the roots because the length is okay, or I will not bleach the roots because the lengths are still not achieving the right color that I want. If that's what she was doing, then she's decided to do a red. She will have darker red on top of it and it will be so beautiful, it suits her the red. More than the blonde, I will say. Did you enjoy this video? Have you have any hair tips for not having the hair fails at home as they are? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kus.